Let's now first complete the uh, view components of this simple app. So we're going to create three buttons in our graphical user interface design. So one button for incrementing the uh, counter value, one button for decrementing the counter value, and the third one for resetting the counter value back to, let's say, zero for simplicity. Okay, so now first of all, go to your layout XML file. You can also find it under app, under resource, and under layout over here. Okay, make sure you can go to that XML file. And then we'll go to, and also before you do that, make sure the opening tag for your text review for the uh, design is going to be relative layout. It's very important. Otherwise, if you have constraint layout from a newer version of Android Studio, it's not going to load. To the lab machine eventually, in which case you gotta redo all the uh, GUI components. So make sure you do have relative layout to start with. Okay, let's go to graphical design perspective over here. So we're going to drag and drop three buttons. Okay, first of all, let's get the uh, first button here. And then we just, for example, we can uh, just, okay, for, uh, you can definitely make it uh, maybe expand all the way to the right. I'll leave that to you just to save uh, time. Okay, the first button here, let's you give, uh, give some text over here. Let's say increments. Okay, and then let's also give, uh, in the lab machine, you can just sub double click on the button and then you can give ID and also text. Okay, but now for this version here, uh, for the ID, I'm just going to say button increments. Okay, and then I'm going to have a second button for decrements. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop uh, the second button over here. Okay, and then for the text, I'm going to say decrements. And then for the ID, let's be consistent with say button decrement. Okay, so we got three buttons here, but we haven't connected this to any controller or model just yet, but we will do that in a moment. Okay, and then we also have another button here, let's say reset. Okay, let's put it here. It's called a reset. Okay, double click on that, and then the text, we're going to say reset and then for ID we're gonna say button reset okay and now we are also going to have a text view for displaying the uh, output for the counter value basically every time after you either increments decrement or reset uh, the sheer counter the text view is going to display the current value of the counter the updated value of the counter Okay, so now let's also drag and drop some text view over here at the, over here. And then we're going to, uh, let's say for the text, it's simply just empty. And for the ID, we can simply say, uh, you can say label and then result, or you can just say label counter value. Let me just say label and then result, like that. Okay, and then what I can do is I can make this uh, one here. Okay, I can try to maybe drag and drop it a little bit better. So I can expand maybe all the way to the right over here for the uh, result over here, okay? You can also choose to ch uh, change the text alignments. In the newer version of Android Studio, you can simply just choose uh, uh, the uh, central alignment over here. But for the older version, they still have this feature here, but you just have to look over the properties or the attributes in the list to do that, okay? I'll leave that to you, but it's not really important for the demonstration, okay? So now, in this simple graphical user interface design, we got three buttons here, increments, decrements, and reset. Later on, we're gonna see that we're going to attach different methods. Each one of them, each one of them is going to be attached to a independent and separate method. However, all the methods, all the three methods are going to somehow modify a sheer single objects, counter objects. But I'm gonna see how we can do that. Okay, but for the graphical user interface, now you should see that uh, how you can do this. But you can, for uh, for to make sure that this graphical user interface design works on your particular machine, you can already uh, launch your app and see that the uh, the three buttons in the text view is uh, are really displaying well. I'll leave them to you.